Post office day is done. Day two of the week of death. I posted an anti-Christmas rant. I didn't post one. I recorded one when I was out with the dogs this afternoon, but I won't post it. It's full of swear words. <laughs> I wasn't in a good mood, so best just to leave that one alone. And I'm now waiting on my wife to come back from the field. She's out at the horses. She's been absolutely brilliant today. I got to walk the dogs for an hour and I got to go to my AA meeting in the afternoon, which was just the thing I needed, turns out. <laughs> so, ho, ho, ho to everybody. Post office counter is just behind me here. These are the, the terminals that we use. Let me show you the, the keyboard. Come and check this out. I mean, whoever saw a keyboard with a vertical layout like that, the keys are not offset, it's a bitch to type on. But look at the shift and tab. See anything wrong? Share this when you get it. <laughs> I'll tell you that shift and tab key drives me absolutely mental. And now when I'm on my actual computer, I find myself getting the tab and shift mixed up. It's becoming muscle memory because I've been working here for too long with the new keyboard. I need to cut back and get back down to one day a week instead of four, which is what I'm doing at the moment. But yeah, so that's my counter. This is backstage, as it were. I've got three terminals. This one is really the overspill one, but I like to use it because we've got this parcel hatch, this glass lifts up. So I can take the parcel straight in there. I can actually talk to the customers without having to talk through this pane of glass, which we normally have. And I can then put the parcels straight in the bags on the frame without having to pile them up. Normally what we do is we pile them up in these boxes, which are really designed for measuring parcel sizes but we just pile up letters and parcels in there. There's usually one at this position as well. It's currently being used over there to, well, it's not being used, it's just there. We pile them up and then clear them into the frame, in the bags in the frame, once, uh, well, whenever we get a chance to really. And uh, that's really it. The, the decor and the whole, furniture has been here since Lord knows when. Must be about 40 years anyway, I would say. And the whole place is just, it screams 1980s. Just the whole layout and feel of the place. It's horrible, really. Even just being here is, is grim. Out there's the shop. It's dark now because the lights are out, but. That's the retail space and it's, the lighting is bad, the layout is bad, but as a post office, people come in, come what may, because they've got to post their shit, you know? So what we try and do is make money in the retail. And so far this year, we are about level pegging with last year. Last year we were up quite a good bit on the year before by this time and the year before that the same this year we're probably going to end up slightly down or just about the same as last year which is is not growth in anyone's book so you know the writing's on the wall for this place for us i think this year coming up could possibly be the the year that we we decide enough's enough you never know though, if if my wife will continue working for me, which I believe she's going to, and lets me concentrate a bit more on my blockchain stuff, and if the blockchain stuff actually begins to make something, you know, actual money that I can spend on rent, not rent, mortgage, groceries, uh, that sort of stuff, then it could be a good, it could be a good year, but who knows. This is the back room. Actually, this room I used for as a recording room. 
because I figured all of the boxes and stuff would soak up some of the sound and it, they did to some extent. This was my control station behind me. So this is where I sit most of the time. This was the recording space or the control space. We've got a universal audio interface, an Apollo 8 quad and 4K monitor. Use my laptop. My laptop plugs in to the Apollo with Thunderbolt. And then I've got my two studio monitors. So that's my mixing space. And then behind, you might have seen earlier, the 15 inch powered speakers, which I've got going in the back of the Apollo as well. And I use that for listening to the radio or Spotify at work. So it's, uh, it's quite a good rig actually. I'm quite sure I'm the only post office in the land that's got a full PA <laughs> for listening to the radio. It's awesome. So, yeah, that's my wee tour of the post office backstage. The best bit though, the best bit, look who's here, Poppy. There she is, that's Poppy. And Clover's lying over there. So it's really nice having the dogs here and taking them out during the day, which I did today for a good hour, where I recorded my Christmas rant, but I won't post it because, you know, as I said. Anyway, that's me. See you tomorrow.